What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Ruby walkthrough. Last time we checked out Route 125, got some good EXP, and then headed into the Shoal Cave, grabbed a couple of items, and we're back here in Moss Deep City now, ready to take on the 7th gym here in the Hoenn League, the Psychic type gym. So get your Dark and Ghost types and Bug types ready to go because they will definitely come in handy. Now, when you come in here, it's going to look like a freaking evil team base because there's all of these little um, tiles everywhere, you know, with the arrows that will send you in a direction. However, there are these switches that you can hit, and as you can see, they will change the red arrows, and that is how you're going to have to get through here. Now, honestly, I like Pokemon Emerald's puzzle a lot better because, um, you know, they did change it in Pokemon Emerald, and I just find it a little easier. This one can get a little confusing. Um, and unfortunately, Bulbapedia, which I was surprised about, but they did not give me, like, a step-by-step -step guide to, uh, getting through here. So, there's a chance I could just be walking blindly. I don't really know. Um, for now, we've got Little, our fighting type up front. Not the best idea, but I want him to level up. He's, uh, so close to 37 anyways. And, yeah, just expect to find a lot of psychics, you know, levitating their Pokeballs. And, um, a lot of psychic types, of course. But yeah, it looks like that pathway will lead us straight to another trainer. I think the first part of this gym is relatively straightforward. Like, if you see a switch, all you gotta do is hit it. It's the last part that can get a little confusing, um, if I'm remembering correctly. But again, hopefully I can, um, be fine with it. We shall, uh, find out, though. We shall find out. Um, also, one very unique thing about this gym, which... You know, for a while until, what, Gen 8, right? Um, it was the only... Wow, I should have seen that coming. Okay, I'm sorry, Blaziken. <laughs> um, as I was saying, for a while, it was the only gym that featured a double battle as the um, gym leader fight. You will actually fight two people in this place. So yeah, get ready for that. And, you know, I don't really know why I had Blaziken up front. I probably should have... Seen that one coming. I just wanted to level him up, but I suppose we can let the rest of the team members handle it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using Laron a lot for the gym fight, as well as Cacturn. Those are going to be like the main two, just because we've got Laron who's going to eat up psychic type moves, and Cacturn who can deal a lot of damage with Faint Attack. Not to mention the two Pokemon, because, um, yeah, there are only two Pokemon in the gym battle since it's a double battle. Um, but both of the Pokemon are weak to rock, so water and um, steel can come in handy, grass as well. They both have levitate though, so uh, don't think you can send in any ground types. Looks like you have a Zatu though, pretty cool. This might be the first time we're seeing one of these guys. I guess I'll go for Rock Tomb. I really wish we had a better Rock type move. I mean, I think we've had Rock Tomb since, you know, we beat Rock Sand. And um, I just feel like at this stage in the game, as a Laron, you know, going into Agron, you should have a better Rock-type move. But no, unfortunately, we do not. And I'm sure I'm about to miss this Rock Tomb. How much you want to bet? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, that's a good sign, I suppose. Or maybe it just means we're using up all of our luck now, and uh, then the gym battle will be freaking brutal. But no, I'm feeling relatively confident, and looks like Whalmer's only two levels away from being caught up. So that is nice. Honestly, I think once he hits like 35, I'll probably take off the EXP share. Might as well. There's no really point in having it on after that. Let's go ahead and press this switch that should um, switch that elevated one. And I think we've kind of... Oh, no. We can walk up this, right? Oh, well, we have to come from the other way. Hang on. Let's go up here first. Yeah, this will take us to this switch. So that one you're going to need to hit for sure. I think you have to press all of them. But yeah, as you can see, that one takes you straight to where the gym leaders are located. So make sure you do that. And I think after we take on this man, we're kind of going to have to backtrack towards the beginning. And um, I know you can go to the right, but I think the right only takes you like straight to the gym leader. So you got to make sure you have like all of the other buttons pressed first, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm not, you know, too good with this gym puzzle. It's probably... The uh, worst one in this game in terms of just my knowledge. Well, that's okay. We're going to get through it, man. We're going to be chilling. Oh, that did not kill. Oh, but the quick claw popped. Yeah, unfortunately, Roger still kind of takes a lot of damage from the psychic types. 
Um, just because he has pretty awful special defense. But, you know, it's about the best we got besides Cacturn. Who, don't worry, he'll get some action eventually. Um, this one takes us back here, and yeah, you can see that we can go this way. I don't know if we're gonna make it yet. Um, okay, yeah, we need to press this switch. Now, after we do that switch, I think we'll make it. And, um, you actually have to go back to the entrance and go to the left again. However, I do want to fight the other trainer that is up by the, um, gym leaders. She's, like, standing right next to them. I want to try to not miss out on them because... Wasn't there a gym that I did miss out on the trainers? Oh, that was back in Pokemon Silver. It was Janine's gym. And, like, I literally talked about it in the video. Shout out to anyone who's seen that video. Um, you've been around for a little while then. But, uh, yeah. I talked about it in that video how with that gym in the Johto games, I always screwed up and I always accidentally talked to Janine first before talking to the last gym trainer because they're both, like, towards the middle, so... They could both be identified as the gym leader. And yeah, literally in the silver walkthrough, I screwed it up, like always. And it was annoying, so that's when I missed out. I think that's like the only time. Whoa, we had a future site put on us? Hold on, I did not know that. That's gonna do a lot. Alright, I'll probably switch after destroying this giraffe. Who's got a chain chomp on his tail? You can't tell me that's not a chain chomp. That is just a fact, not even an opinion. Um, you have a Kadabra. Alright, let's get Petey some action. I don't really want to go back and heal, but I guess I kind of do. I mean, we already had a Pokemon die, and we are relatively underleveled. And you just use Recover at full HP. What are you, Blaine? But, uh, yeah, I guess I should go back and heal. It would be very smart of me. Um, so down goes the Kadabra, meaning we only have one trainer left as we defeat Psychic Fritz interesting name okay um yeah as i said cacturn you're going up front and i think we will take this pad or teleporter uh, never mind that led us back to here did i miss out on the other trainer i feel like i did because i pressed hang on i'm gonna have to press that switch again that's unfortunate let me um oh boy how do i even get back there oh gosh oh man hang on let's just see where this takes us I think it's going to take us right to the gym leader. Um, let's find out. Yeah, it is. No, I want to fight that person. <laughs> oh, man, hang on. You know what? Here's the... Uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that, though. Because that's going to reset the entire puzzle. I was going to say we can leave the gym and come back. But I don't want to do that. Um, Shoot, I don't know what to do to access that last trainer. We need to go back and hit that switch, but... Okay, here we go. We can get through there. I was about to say, I don't know how to get there. Alright, as I said, you know, this gym, it's a uh, work in progress. But there we go. Now that we've hit that switch, even though that is technically the wrong way of doing it, we can now take this super long, windy one, and it will lead us all the way to her, I believe. And as I said, it is the final gym trainer in this place. So, let's go. We are making a pretty good time so far. And after this fight, I will definitely go back and heal up but uh yeah psychic hannah's taking us on still has a raw i mean these could all be gardevoir right now but nope trainers just have like negative 10 iq or something and hit b every time they get prompted to evolve their pokemon it makes no sense it really doesn't down goes the Ralts though thanos still working his way up i'm hoping by the time we take down like the gym leaders pokemon if not this curlia he will be a level 35 that would be a uh, good way to end off this video. There's another one hit KO. Again, I'm feeling really confident about this gym fight. Um, I counter psychic types pretty well. But for now, let me head back to the Pokemon Center. I decided to not show off the gym puzzle again because you guys basically just saw me do it. You know, I felt like you guys get the deal. You know which uh, switches to hit. Which, you know, you end up hitting all of them. So that's really all you gotta know. Anyways, it's time to take on Tate and Liza. Um, they're like twins or something, and they complete each other's sentences, and it's going to be a double battle. Yeah, let's get straight into it. So, they're going to have the duo of Lunatone and Solrock. As I said earlier, those are the only two Pokemon you have to battle. Their team really isn't that strong. However, they are both level 42, so um, a pretty big level jump from the last gym. 
But yeah, they are both part rock, meaning along with bug, dark, and ghost, they're also weak to, you know, water and um, fighting's neutral on them. They're weak to steel, grass. So at this point in the game, you should definitely have a um, counter for them. Anyways, Lunatone knows light screen, psychic, hypnosis, and calm mind. A complete psychic type moveset. On the other hand, Solrock knows sunny day, solar beam, psychic, and flamethrower. So Solrock is probably a lot more threatening with sunny day and solar beam and flamethrower. It can just boost its moves and honestly no matter what move it goes for it's gonna deal a lot of damage so i'm gonna go for that guy first now there's a light screen i was sort of expecting that giga drain is not gonna do that much damage it's immediately gonna go for flamethrower pretty interesting so yeah be careful if you do have a grass or water type in here we're gonna get a little bit of health back with giga drain not too much though because of the light screen i'm curious to see how much iron tail does so let's see please don't miss thank you now, will this kill? It will! Sweet! All right, let's go, Rogers. So, yeah, that basically just secures us the victory right there. Not too shabby, because the Lunatone now only can hit us with Psychic. I mean, other than that, it can be annoying with Hypnosis, but in my opinion, Solrock is 10 times more threatening. So, yeah, try to just double-team one of them first. Um, I think that is the way to go. Unfortunately, we got put to sleep, so she's going to heal um it's kind of gonna last a longer than it should but whatever now in pokemon emerald this battle is a lot tougher because they actually have a um clay doll and a zatu along with soul rock and lunatone and it just adds like a whole nother layer to this fight so thank goodness this isn't pokemon emerald because at that point we might have lost i'm not even gonna lie it is a very tough battle but um yeah this will eventually end there we go we wake up as long as we don't miss iron tail on this turn we should be chilling come on please rogers come through oh we get a crit too come on come on keep the momentum going don't miss don't be that guy you miss <laughs> oh my goodness all right now do they have more than two they do i'm pretty sure they have four hyper potions because i don't know i guess when making these gym leaders they accounted for uh, both of the people to have two hyper potions so yeah that can be relatively annoying um with them having four hyper potions <laughs> we got another crit and we land iron tail this time there we go that's what we like to see okay so as i predicted that was a relatively easy battle and thanos gets to level 35 so yeah i will be taking the exp share off of him and we get the what is it mind badge i believe which is the seventh gym badge here in the Hoenn region, meaning we only have one left until we can take on the Pokemon League. Um, we can also use the HM for dive outside of battle, and they give us TM04 Calm Mind, a TM that boosts your special attack and special defense. As they said, it's perfect for psychic type Pokemon. So, yeah. Anyways, um, that will do it for today's video. Now, in Pokemon Emerald, once you defeat the gym, you're going to want to head to Steven's house and get Dive. But we did that two episodes ago because you can do that as soon as you reach Moss Deep. But yeah, next time, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I sort of have to plan it out a bit because there's so many water routes. You know, we could head straight to the Seafloor Cavern or Sutopolis City. Or we could go past that towards Pacific Log Town. So I think, you know, the next, let's call it like four videos probably, are going to be me surfing around, checking out... Route 120, what is it, 6, Route 127, Route 128, 29, Route 130, Pacific Log Town, all of those areas. So get buckled up for a lot of water routes. But yeah, we'll be doing that next time. For now, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.